Life jackets are stored here by the muster station. Let me show you how to put one on. First, put the life jacket over your head. Then tie the straps in a double bow on the left hand side like this. You inflate the jacket by pulling down on the toggles. Please don't do this until you're on an outside deck. Oh, excuse me. Can I just stop you there? I'm afraid you're trying to pull down on your whistle. That's for blowing when you're in the water to attract attention. The toggles are here. That's right. Good. Can I have two gin and tonics, a double scotch, and a tomato juice, please? Yes, sir. Would you like ice and lemon in the GMTs? Yes, please. But I'll have the scotch with no ice. No, actually, I'll have a soda with it. And can I have a large glass of Chardonnay, too? Would you like ice with your scotch? No, thanks. My wife and I are thinking about taking the scuba diving trip on the next offshore excursion. Do we need to have experience? No, sir, none at all. Full training will be given, and you'll be supervised by an instructor at all times. And what about insurance? Scuba diving is usually classed as a high-risk sport, and I'd advise you to check with your travel insurance company that you're covered for this activity, sir. We can't accept liability for anything that may happen. Everything all right, ma'am? How is the stick? Well, to be frank, it's a little rare for my taste. I don't mind lamb cooked rare, but I'm not so keen on rare steak. Would you like me to ask the chef to cook it a little more? If it's no trouble. See how pink it is. I did ask for well done, you know. This is Mrs. Stone in room 437. We have a big problem with this cabin and need to change. The one we're in stinks of stale cigarette smoke. Our clothes hang in the closet all smell of smoke now. I'm sorry to hear that. I'll send a steward up to you right away and we'll see what we can do. Patricia, your face is really red. It is? The sun must be stronger here than I thought. I don't usually burn, so I rarely use suntan lotion. Yeah, well, we can't escape the sun in our work. If I were you, I'd wear a hat. Good idea. Excuse me, ma'am. Can I get by? Sure. Sorry for being in the way. Those look like heavy trays. How do you carry so much without dropping it? You must be exhausted by the end of the day when the ship's so busy. <laughs> it takes practice. You need quite strong arms. But the most important thing is to keep your balance, especially when the sea's a bit choppy. When will the food be ready? We've been waiting for a half hour. I'm very sorry, but when you order something that is not on the main menu, it takes a little longer. It will be ready in ten minutes. Can I offer you something while you wait? Perhaps another drink? Okay. I'll have another orange juice. What would you like, Joyce? I'll have the same. And can you hurry, please? We were also waiting twenty minutes for the last drink.
I was wondering if you could show us how to play this game. The deck coils? Oh, sure. You have to throw these small coils of rope over the pegs to score points, like this. The one with the most points wins. Make sure your foot is behind the line, otherwise it is a foul throw. Oh, I see. Thank you. A guest in cabin C346 on B deck has complained that no clean towers were left in her room this morning. C346 B deck. That's one of the family cabins, isn't it? Oh, yes, I remember. Uh, they left the bathroom in an awful mess. There was water all over the place, and it took me ages to clean it up. I must have forgotten the towels. Go and see to it now, please, and pay more attention next time. Remember, our guests expect the highest standard of service. Okay. Sorry. <laughs>